Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Ireland. Uh, sorry again about the last episode being a little short. I just unplugged my mouse and plugged it back in again and that fixed the problem as it so often does. Uh, but we are involved in this war now against Brit Britain, against the Republic of Britannia. Um, perhaps a little recklessly. Uh, also we're fighting Russia. Hopefully Sweden, who are also in this war, will keep them occupied. Um, we didn't manage to ally Germany uh, to get them to come in, unfortunately. Oh, they'll accept an alliance now. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, of course. That's great. We'll uh, try to call them in as soon as we are able to. That will be... when was that? 30th of, the, 30th of July. Uh, also just waiting for our fleet to come up here so we can clear out the Straits of Dover and start actually landing men on the UK mainland. Uh, Belgium, of course, is coming into our territory here. Though if we can call in Germany... Um, what do we want here? I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, state capitalism is fine. Uh, let's mobilize our troops also. in case we need them, which we very well might. A socialist demagogue. Oh, we'll gain socialist in the upper house, that's fine. I think we've passed all the reforms anyway, so there's really no point to the upper house anymore. Yeah, okay. Let's go in here then. We can increase opinion with the Netherlands, who Japan have been screwing with. Keep dropping our opinion down. And can we call in Germany yet? When was that? I forgot already. They're only a maybe, but we may as well call them. Maybe while we're waiting to cross the strait, we can engage one of these Belgian armies. This is just infantry, so I guess it's mobilized troops. Should be able to obliterate it without much trouble. Oh, and we are... Okay, there may be, so let's, let's hope they say yes. They didn't say yes. Okay, so... Maybe they'll offer us an alliance back and we'll call them again. Okay, we have the strait taken with our navy, so that's good. Um, should we just ignore what Belgium's doing here and... Go straight to the UK? Not sure. What's the composition of this army? Yeah, that's the real army. Hmm. Let me set a rally point here so our mobilized troops can collect in one place and not stand around looking stupid. I think it's more important that we go across to Great Britain right now. Oh, and actually we've accidentally engaged Belgium there. This is again purely a infantry force, so we'll actually let this battle play out and wait until it's over before we cross the strait. Uh, we'll go to state capitalism again. Okay, France has pieced out Bulgaria in whatever war they were in. Netherlands wants an alliance back. Okay, we'll proceed. Um, why don't we call them in again? Also a maybe. I don't know what the actual percentage chance is, what maybe actually means, but... I have seen it work sometimes.
It seems quite gamey that you can just keep uh, getting a getting an alliance and calling them in, though it does take a significant time, I suppose. Okay. That's great. Uh, oh, we have a large stack here suffering attrition now. Let's split them up. And it seems like the UK has mobilized as well, so... Got a lot of troops to fight there. Uh, let's see, you can come up to London. Let's merge these together. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that these mobilized troops are so far away. I'd like to get them down to support the other troops. So I suppose I could just transport them by boat. Uh, let's get our transports and our main fleet up there. Not sure where the UK's fleet has gone to, but I'm not too worried about it. Let's get however many of them on the boat as will fit. Um, oh, yeah, I have the wrong thing selected, okay. Let's get all our boats back to Strait of Dover. Uh, or maybe we should just... Well, we'll leave this 102 here on the straight crossing that they could conceivably come across. Just in case. Okay, we won the occupation of Brighton. Let's head to Southampton. Siege that back already. I'm landing troops there. Um, I suppose I should probably stop them. Yeah, okay. This army is all infantry, so as soon as one of our other occupations finishes around them, we'll just go in and clear out that army. And I'll also start the Troops landing here. Oh, and they've got a big army on the way now, okay. This is... Uh, oh, this is their army. Uh, sort of a real army, very uh, infantry heavy as well. Okay. Well, we'll pile all our guys on there, I suppose. This army, or this battle should be finished pretty soon, so we can pile in those reinforcements too. Jingoism. Okay, Belgium occupying more stuff. Uh, get in there. Okay, we actually have the um, advantage here with our leader. We have higher defense and they of course came in on us. Let's just keep an eye on what's going on around here. Ooh, more attrition over here. Don't want that. Scotland beginning to be occupied. If Scotland just serves as a nice distraction for some of the um, armies, that's okay with me. These mobilized troops here... Uh, looks like they're going to be kind of stuck. Actually, they can probably just walk across the boats, can't they? Yeah, good. Okay. It's totally fine. Okay, things going pretty well here, it looks like. They retreated from that battle. And they took back Southampton, but not too worried about that. This army is also a real army. So um, let's take a look at the war goal. I don't know how much exactly war score we need for this, though it seems like we almost have it. Um. We could maybe add a war goal to take some land from them, because why not? Though I do want to keep an eye on the calendar. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Um, I suppose I'll just spread out these armies a little more. Oops, and we've apparently engaged them over there, which I didn't quite mean to do, but that will probably work out fine. We have a crossing penalty, unfortunately, and we better get in some more troops there, I suppose. Uh, maybe even some more. Shame to give up the occupation, but more important that we win the battle, I think. Gonna have to let Belgium do what they're doing. Um, let's try one more time to call in Germany. Ah, Germany has honored our alliance. And now this is suddenly the Great War. Well, that makes things a lot easier. They'll certainly take care of Belgium, if nothing else. As well, pile more troops in here. Oof, this battle is costly on both sides. Uh, maybe we shouldn't pile all these troops in here. Um, okay. A crisis in West Galicia, which we will not have to get involved in, because we're in a big war. Hmm. Yeah, don't really want to cross the strait into these... Actually, these are all... are these all mobilized troops? So we'd have our mobilized troops versus their mobilized troops. Uh, which of these has a good general, if any? Of course, we'd be taking a crossing penalty as well. I'm not going to cross into into a battle now. That would be silly. Um, oh, they've just reinforced that. Okay, that looks bad now. That's not, uh, it's not maybe uh, continue this battle. I think we should try and retreat. It's pretty unfortunate. Um, I think it's the right thing for us to do though. Um, okay, let's head over here. Unfortunately, we're not going to get reinforcements in our enemy territory. Failed to enlist international interest, not surprisingly. Um, I suppose we'll just... Siege some provinces over here. Or we'll get our army attacked again. Hmm. I think we might be better to get as many men as we can. Um. How many can fit on these boats? We have 21 transports, which is uh, 63, it should be 63, though. This is probably actually more than 63 regiments or brigades. Nope, still won't fit. Okay, let's start uh, shipping our troops out by boat. And they've crossed the channel in the other direction. That's okay, I suppose. Uh, protectionism is what we we're looking for here. I was unpaused, but I wasn't. Let's 
So, I suppose I should try to retreat this army, maybe. But they're actually losing a lot of men. So maybe it's worth leaving it here to hold up this army while we get some troops out and run down their manpower somewhat. Actually, that's going really well. Why is this battle going so well? They only have a, a minus one. Um, I suppose it's because we actually have artillery and they have none. We can't actually win that battle without even reinforcing it. Which would be very nice. Um, state capitalism. Okay. Well, this is the reason I didn't want to uh, cross my um, uh, mobilized troops over into. Actually, these were mobilized as well, so that doesn't really factor in, but I didn't want to risk engaging actual armies with them and really see what a difference it makes. Okay, our new upper house has been assembled. And the fascist party was elected again. Okay, so Germany... Uh, because the German and Belgian flags are similar colors, this whole thing just is very difficult to parse visually. Um, they haven't wiped out the Belgian army. They are sieging back a lot of my land. They're sieging almost all of Belgium. Okay, seems to be going okay for them. I can't imagine they'll have a problem with it, though. Uh, of course, Russia is also in this war, though. Germany seems to be taking care of that end of things pretty well as well. Yeah, I think this would have been a very reckless war to get involved in if we if we hadn't been able to eventually call in Germany. But, you know, recklessness towards the end of the game is pretty much a standard procedure in Victoria too. At least it is for me, I think. Okay, so... It looks like perhaps this evacuation of troops isn't so necessary. They're just piling on more, um, more and more infantry into this battle. I think we should just go ahead and reinforce with um, some actual troops. This is some cannons. How are these looking? Okay. What I'll do is take my transports here. And I'll split this unit and I'll take the healthiest looking artillery and cavalry regiments and the rest infantry. It's mobilized, but it'll be okay. And I'll take these two as well. Okay. So, now I have no idea which unit that was. Is it this one? Did there be three units here? Yeah, it has to be this one, okay. So you get on the boats, and... Um, I'm not sure we'll get any penalty for landing them directly on there, but it's probably actually quicker to dock here and then march them over. Okay, so now we have a quite decent backline of artillery. We should be able to turn this battle much more heavily in our favor. They've taken back the early sieges that we took there, but that's fine. And again with the Netherlands. Yep, back up to friendly again. That's fine. Uh, this is all infantry. Okay. 
So I probably don't need to stick that in here. Are they, are they headed in? They're not, okay. Definitely going well in our favor there. Scotland kind of having a bad time of it, but that's okay. Alright, well we're out of time again for this episode. And thanks for watching, and join me again next time where we'll see how many men we can kill in this battle, and uh, hopefully successfully continue this war.